What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a cartoon illustration of Spider-Man. Let's begin in the center of our page with the top edge of the eyes. We leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna curve this up and then bend that out towards the left. Now we're gonna move over towards the right and do the same thing. Going up and then bending that out. Let's curl the eyes along the top. So back on the left side, it's gonna bend this up towards the tip and then do the same thing on the right. Now from the top, we're just gonna curve this down and then back up along the inside of the eye. Coming all the way around, and down towards the bottom, and we'll bend that up. Now we're gonna trace the eyes along the inside to create a trim. From this point, we're gonna step over, just follow that same curve going up and then out and trace this along the bottom and then bend that back in. Now with the eyes in place, let's draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're gonna step over. It's gonna curve the head coming down, across the chin. I just wanna bend this around and then back up on the right side. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the top of the head. From here, it's gonna curve this out around the eye, and bend that in, round up the top of the head, come all the way around, and then bend that in. Now before we add the webbing, let's draw the right arm crossed in front of the body. We're gonna start underneath the chin, it's gonna curve the arm coming down, and then in towards the thumb. And then from here, we draw a small half circle going all the way around. Now the arm's gonna be holding the web stretched out towards the right. So let's start from the base of the thumb, draw a straight angle line going up and then out. Go back to the inside. I'm just gonna taper this so it gets a little bit wider as we go back up towards the top. Let's add a small fold underneath the thumb, starting down here, curve down and then over. Move over underneath the thumb, draw on the first finger and come down and then up. And I'll add two more fingers. Step down, curve down and up, move over. Just gonna draw this finger going around and just pull that up underneath the web. Continue along the top, going up and in underneath the head. Now from here, we're gonna turn the body over towards the left side. So let's start underneath the head, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. And then we'll add a trim, coming down and bending that in behind the thumb. Let's stretch the left arm out towards the side. From the top of the body, we're gonna step down, curve the arm going up, and then bend that out towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're gonna point the thumb coming down. So we'll go down, and then bend that back up. And I'll stretch out the first finger, bending this up and out, round out the finger, and then bend that back in. Let's add two more fingers. Starting from the base, curl this up and out. Round out the finger and come back down. And then we'll add one more. Going up and over. Round this out. And just pull that back in towards the wrist. Now we're gonna create an overlap along the top. So from the edge of the finger, we're gonna step over, curl this up and in behind the head. Now that we have the positioning of the upper body, let's move down and draw on the legs. From the hip, let's step over towards the left and curve the leg coming in and then down towards the heel. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of the foot with an oval pointing up towards the left. So from the heel, going up and then out towards the edge of the foot. Let's round this out, come all the way down and then bend that back up towards the heel. Let's go to the top of the foot on the left side, draw the top of the foot going up and then bending that down. Now you want to bend the leg coming back in towards the body. Starting from the top of the foot, curve this around and then up towards the knee. Bend this around and then come down towards the left hip. Now from the inside of the left leg, draw the bottom of the body coming down and then across in behind the hand. 
go over towards the right side, continue that curve going up towards the right leg. Let's overlap the bottom of the leg. From this point, we're gonna step up, curve this down, and then out towards the heel. Now just like we did on the left side, we're gonna draw on the bottom of the foot. Starting from the heel, draw that oval going up towards the right. Let's round this out. Come all the way around towards the bottom, and then bend that back in towards the heel. Let's draw on the top of the foot. From the top of this curve, we go up, and then bend that down, aiming towards the heel. Now right where the arm meets the web, we start from this point, curve the leg going up and out towards the knee. Round up the knee, come down in behind the web, continue along the bottom, going out and then down on top of the foot. Now going back to the right side of the hand, we're gonna draw the end of the web. Starting right here, we curve this around, come in, and then back out. Let's go back up to the top. We're just gonna add some thickness. Going around, just pull that down towards that bottom point. Now that we have the basic shape of our character, let's separate the edge of the boot. From the top of the leg on the inside, we're gonna step down, curve this up, and then down on the outside. Let's do the same thing on the right. From this line, we're gonna step down, curve this up, and then bend that out. Let's separate the right arm in the center, starting from the inside, go up and then down. Let's go all the way over towards the left side underneath the arm, go up and in underneath the head. Now we're going to go back and add the webbing inside the head. From the inside corner of the eyes, draw two straight angle lines going up and in towards the center. And then from that center point, we're going to go up and then bend that out towards the left, towards the top of the head. Let's go back to the inside of the eye, draw two straight angled lines coming in, close off the bottom with a straight line. Let's add two more curves along the top. Starting from the top of the left eye, curves up and then out. Go on top of the right eye, going out and then up. Let's go back to the inside from these two points. We'll start on the left, curve down and then out. Go to the right going out and down. Let's add another set of curves underneath the eyes. Starting on the left, come down and out, and out and down. Now we're gonna add a couple more lines along the side of the head. From this point, draw a straight line coming in towards the eye, move up, and go up and out. Now we're gonna add those webs going across. From the top of the eye, coming in and up toward that first line. And then from here, curve this across and then up in the middle. Now from the center, we're gonna step down, add another curve, coming down toward the left, and then the right, and bend that down and out towards the eye. Let's add one more set in the center. Now we're going to add those webs across the bottom. Starting over on the left, draw a straight line going across. Step down, add a slight curve, going up and then down. Let's go back up to the top, curve this up and out underneath the eyes. And the same thing along the bottom. And we'll just tuck this up and out underneath the eyes. Let's add a trim along the inside of the arm. From the cuff, we're going to step in, curve this in towards the body. From the right cuff, we're going to step up, come out, and then up. Let's add a wristband across each arm. Starting from the thumb, go out, and then up. Step in, and draw that twice. Now from the bottom, curve down, in behind the web. Continue along the right side, and we'll step up and draw that again. Let's add a basic spider symbol in the center of the body. Starting from the top, start with a curve, coming down and up like a half circle. And then from the top, curve down and then in. From the base of the head, draw a straight angle line going up and out towards the side. Bend this up 
and in underneath the head. Now trace those legs along the outside, going out and then down, and then pull that back in towards the side. Let's add another set of legs, going straight out, then this out and up towards the side of the body on the left, and then the right. Taper this back in, and then draw that straight line. Now the last two set of legs are going to be pointing down. So from the inside, angle is down and out, curve down and then in. And then again, just tracing this out along the inside. And we'll add one more set of legs, going down and out, bending that down and in. Let's pull this back up towards the top. And then from the top, we're just going to round out the left side, coming in toward the center point. Do the same thing on the right. And it will fill the inside of that spider symbol. Finish off the last leg. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Spider-Man. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.